I'm going to try and answer some questions about how you should load a strop with diamond compound. I'm specifically going to be talking about stroppy stuff, diamond compound, um, and I'll demonstrate using this strop, which is uh, slightly suede leather. I'm also going to talk about the two different dispenser types I sell, the atomizer or the lotion pump. This seems to be a topic of debate for a lot of people, um, but it doesn't really matter. You know, it's the exact same compound in each one. They just dispense differently depending on what you want to do. The spray is the most versatile, but it is also the most messy. But if you like a suede strop, like this is suede, um, so if you like it slightly suede or much more suede than this, then definitely get the atomizer because it will soak up so much compound when you pump it on that trying to spread it in is you're just going to use so much of it. Um, and so I can tell you guys are wondering now what this is. Uh, that's a burnt bit of leather. I'm going to trim that off uh, and use this as my own personal strop because it's, uh, it's not worth selling. It's not good enough. The lotion type pump dispenser is obviously a lot less messy than the atomizer, um, but you are limited in how much compound you can apply with this. So obviously it, it soaks in really heavily on a suede type strop and also you can't just mist it so you have to load quite a lot on and spread it so you're left with a, a very fast cutting strop. I'm going to be using this strop myself and I don't want to load it very heavily but I do want to demonstrate this lotion pump so I'm going to dispense some on here uh, which is just going to get cut off anyway. So if you are to buy this and you are to use it on uh, a suede strop I recommend that you put like one pump on and spread that as fast as you can if you go around the strop pumping it on it's all going to soak in and you won't be able to spread it so i'll um i'll put some on here and show you it's quite liquidy uh, it's n it's not a thick emulsion so just be aware that you you might shoot it across the room by mistake If you do spread this with your finger like I just did, make sure that you then that very thoroughly go and wash your hands um, before you apply any other compounds because you don't want to be mixing in uh, four micron grit into your quarter micron grit. So that's, that's really important. This compound is on the thicker end of what you would usually get in an atomizer. So I recommend you hold it quite far away and press the the cap really hard to make sure it atomizes well. You'll get a few lumps in there, but it's just going to dry in anyway, so I mean, don't worry about it too much. I'll just quickly show you without the strop how it atomizes. So you see it, it goes quite a long way. So I'm going to hold this, I guess, around 20 centimeters away from the strop and just mist it on. So you can see that's loaded a lot less than the um, you know the emulsion type dispenser and you know some people like that and some people don't so it's up to you to choose which cap you want but if you do get the atomizer you can just hold it really close up and then spread it in so you know atomizer is definitely uh, more versatile but it does make a mess up. I mean, my arm's covered in it. And if you're spraying it in the house, you're going to dye everything because this is dying here. One thing to be careful of is not pressing the cap hard enough. If you press it gently, it will shoot out like a stream, which I'll show you now. So you really have to press this hard to get a nice mist out of it. So be careful about that. It's really important that you let this dry properly now before stropping on it. Uh, one thing that will happen is when you strop on it wet, you will actually wipe the diamond particles off because they haven't uh, dropped out of that liquid yet and embedded into the strop. They're still mostly in that liquid and you'll wipe all, the, wipe all of the suspension off, uh, which doesn't matter so much. You know, you can just apply more. Um, but the, the most important part is you'll burnish the strop. So this, you know, this strop is wet. And as soon as you start brushing your knife across the surface of it, you're going to burnish the leather and close the pores up. And that will stop 
future compound being able to seep into the pores and it will also give it a very very light draw which you know is good in some instances i like a light draw but i don't want burnished leather where the diamond isn't gonna embed properly so make sure this dries well before you use it another really important thing that i forgot to mention at the beginning was make sure that the surface of the strop is completely free of grit before you use it hopefully if you bought one from factory there won't be any grit embedded in it but if you made it yourself you're very likely to have contaminated it when you were making it so i brush it with like if with a suede like this i brush it with like a stiff bristled brush a lot um to try and get all of the grit out and i also then will like run my hand over it and you can actually feel bits of grit in there if there's any left with a smooth unfinished um, grain side leather you generally won't get anything embedding into it and you can just wipe it off with your hands.